in this case you'll see the pipework with the in-roof system going under the panels into the loft of the house. More foam peeling off the uh, protective covering slowly. and carefully positioning it on the panel. So the panels are looking like this at the moment. It's a three panel system and the uh, end flashing is now fitted. The end flashing is now fitted and the sensor flashing covers now being fitted. When, when this is complete you'll have uh, a completely watertight fit. The system will be as watertight as, uh, as the best roof and probably more watertight than most roofs built. Importance of keeping things square. and where necessary using the appropriate techniques to keep them square. That's the self-sealing screw. You'll keep the roof watertight. These clips get fitted here and they get nailed into the roof battens to keep them in place. And then the installers are fitting back the tiles. see this being England it started to rain and uh, our brave installers are working in the rain. Now they're putting the top flashing and fitting that into its position on the battens. using exactly the same techniques as they use to fit the lower flashing. Screw the flashings to the patterns of the roof. Make sure you get a good solid fit. Again, 120 millimeter measurement, so you'll get a very nice, precise, and accurately finished job. Another bit of flashing goes into place. As you can see, the roof flashings are light. They won't affect the um, weight of the roof or impose any significant strains. Installers are now refitting the roof tiles that they took off. And you can see it's beginning to look like a nice job. Final tiles are fitted. And there you have a Genesis three panel solar system fitted internally in a roof.